Imagine waking up and finding out that yesterday, a massive asteroid came terrifyingly close to Earth and nobody even saw it coming. Not until it had already passed us. Sounds like the opening scene of a movie, right? But this actually happened. A rock the size of a football field, flying at over 80,000 kilometers per hour, slipped right by our planet and NASA only spotted it after it was gone. So how did we miss it? How close did it really come? And what would have happened if it didn't miss? Today, we're diving into the real story of the asteroid that almost hit us. And trust me, by the end of this, you'll never look up at the night sky the same way again. All right, before we talk about the asteroid that nearly ruined everyone's weekend, let's get on the same page. What exactly are these space rocks? And why are they always hanging around Earth's orbit like they own the place? They're called Near-Earth Objects, or NEOS. Basically, they're leftover pieces from the formation of our solar system. About 4.6 billion years ago, Imagine all the junk left behind after building a planet. That's them, space leftovers. Now here's where it gets wild. NASA tracks more than 30,000 of these objects that come within about 30 million miles of Earth's path. That's not far at all on a cosmic scale. It's basically next door. Some of them swing by harmlessly, but a few have orbits that actually cross ours. Those are the ones that get everyone's attention, because one bad intersection, and it's game over. Think of it like driving down a busy highway. Thousands of cars going in different directions. Now imagine one car's lane slowly drifting into yours. That's what a near-Earth object does. And no matter how good your reflexes are, you can't always dodge everything in space. Even with all our telescopes and tracking systems, astronomers estimate there are still tens of thousands more NEOs out there that we haven't even discovered yet. Smaller, darker rocks that are nearly invisible until they're almost on top of us. And one of those invisible guests is exactly what we're talking about today. July 25th, 2019. An asteroid named 2019 OK came closer to Earth than the Moon itself. It passed just 73,000 kilometers away. That's about one fifth of the distance to the Moon. Close enough that if Earth were a basketball, that asteroid skimmed past at the distance of a coffee cup. And here's the kicker. No one saw it coming. Not NASA, not any of the world's major observatories. It was first spotted by a small observatory in Brazil, just a few hours before it made its closest pass. By the time scientists confirmed what they were looking at, it was already gone. Imagine finding out you almost got hit by a car, but you only realize it after you've crossed the street. 2019 OK was roughly 100 meters wide, traveling at 88,000 kilometers per hour fast enough to cross the continental United States in about two minutes. If that thing had been just a tiny bit off its path, we wouldn't be talking about a cool space story. We'd be talking about a disaster. So how do you miss something that big? Turns out it's not as easy to spot these rocks as you'd think. 2019 OK came at us from the direction of the sun a literal blind spot for telescopes on Earth. It's like trying to find a fruit fly flying straight at your eyes while you're staring into a flashlight. Astronomers rely on specialized surveys like PANSTARS in Hawaii, Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona, and ATLAS to scan the sky every night. But even with all that hardware, there are gaps. Some areas of the sky are just too bright or the asteroids are too small and dark to reflect enough light. Afterward, NASA openly admitted that this one slipped through undetected, not because of incompetence, but because of physics. 
the sun was literally hiding it. And if you're wondering, yeah, that's a little unsettling. Okay, let's talk about the nightmare scenario. What if 2019 OK didn't miss? A 100 meter wide asteroid traveling at nearly 90,000 kilometers per hour would release energy equivalent to around 30 nuclear bombs. For comparison, the Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over Russia in 2013 injured over 1,500 people. And that rock was only about 20 meters across. 2019 OK was five times bigger. It wouldn't have wiped out humanity, but it could have easily erased a city leveling everything within tens of kilometers. If it hit the ocean, the resulting tsunami could have been devastating for coastal regions. If it hit land, goodbye metropolitan area. That's how close we came to rewriting world history without even knowing it. Here's the good news. We're not just sitting around hoping to get lucky next time. In 2022, NASA pulled off something incredible, the DART mission. It slammed a spacecraft into an asteroid named Dimorphos and successfully knocked it slightly off course. That's the first time humanity has ever changed the orbit of a celestial body. Think about that. For billions of years, the universe has been pelting us with rocks and we finally threw one back. And it worked. Now, New missions like NEO Surveyor are being developed. Space-based infrared telescopes that can see objects even when they're hidden by sunlight. Europe's HERA mission will follow up on DART's target to study how much we actually shifted it. For the first time in history, we're building the tools to defend an entire planet. That's kind of amazing. And just when we start to feel a little safer, space likes to remind us it's not done throwing surprises. Recently, astronomers identified a new asteroid called 2024 YR4 that briefly sent the internet into panic mode. Early calculations suggested it had about a 2 to 3% chance of hitting Earth in the year 2032. 2 to 3% might not sound like much, but when you're talking about a rock the size of a skyscraper, those odds feel a little too real. Luckily, after more observations came in, scientists refined its orbit and confirmed it's not on a collision course after all. The odds have now dropped close to zero, but that moment of uncertainty, even for just a few days, shows how fragile our tracking really is. One wrong reading, one missed data point, and suddenly headlines everywhere are screaming about a possible doomsday. That's why missions like NEO Surveyor are so critical, because the next one might not give us a second chance. 2019 OK missed us by a cosmic hair, but it was close enough to make us sweat. It reminded us that we're living on a tiny blue rock in a very unpredictable neighborhood. For all our technology, our radar systems and our satellites, sometimes luck is still the biggest thing keeping us alive. But maybe that's what makes our existence so fascinating. We're fragile, yet we're learning. We can now detect, predict, and even redirect the very things that once made us powerless. The universe throws curveballs. It always has. The question is, the next time one heads our way, will we see it in time? Thanks for watching Timeless Planet. If you love exploring the strange, dangerous beauty of our universe, hit that like button and subscribe. We've got a lot more to uncover.